Cyber Monday is expected to be a record breaker. Analysts forecast $6.6 .6 billion in online retail sales tomorrow. Meg Oliver has more. Workers at this fulfillment center outside New York City are on the front lines of the frantic holiday shopping season. Amazon has hired 120,000 seasonal employees across the country to meet the demand. Conveyor belts have been running 24 hours a day to get packages delivered to online shoppers in time for the holidays. Online Black Friday sales surpassed last year by more than 18 percent. On Cyber Monday, the speed of shopping is only expected to intensify. In 2016, Amazon alone processed 64 million orders worldwide on Cyber Monday. That's 740 items per second. Do you expect to break records on Cyber Monday? We certainly hope so. Lori Torgerson uh, is a retail manager for Amazon. Nothing beats the convenience of shopping from the comfort of your own home or while on the go with your mobile phone. We're actually seeing mobile purchases increase significantly. Last year, more than 70 percent of Amazon customers purchased orders through their mobile devices. Consumers can expect deep discounts on items ranging from electronics and clothes to toys. Advertisers are boasting sales up to 50 percent off the ticketed price. What does that mean for brick and mortar stores going forward? You know, I think there's a lot of players in retail and it'll be, um, there's room for a lot of winners. That's true. Analysts say up to 90 percent of sales still happen in stores, Elaine. Well, so are more people shopping online or in stores? No, overall they're striking a balance. But one study found where you live sometimes determines where you shop. So for instance, rural and suburban consumers, they like to avoid shipping charges so they'll go to the store. Meantime, as you know, city dwellers, they need a little help in that department <laughs> with the delivery. So they do shop a lot online. Meg Oliver, thanks so much.